Okay, this is the third question for for the top five common question for PSLE speed. And in this uh, third scenario, we have uh, two objects traveling in the same direction, but they start at different time. Okay, and in this question, the distance between A and B is one one six km. So the distance between them is uh, one one six km. And at first, a bus left uh, town A and headed for town B. Okay, that means the bus left first. And sometime later, okay, the car left town A and headed for town B, right? That means the car will start to chase after the bus. Okay, and along the way, the, bu the car overtook the bus and arrived at town B 45 minutes earlier than the bus. Okay, that means when the car reached town B, Alright, the bus is still behind, right? Even though that the car started later, but because the uh, car speed is faster, it overtook the bus and arrived at town B earlier than the bus. Okay? And the question also says that when the car arrived at town B, the bus had traveled 5 over 8 of the distance. Okay? That means when a car is here already, that means when a car has reached uh, town B, the bus is still behind okay and the bus had only traveled 5 over 8 of the distance that means uh, this will be 5 units and this will be 3 units okay how do you get 3 we take 8 minus 5 right 8 minus 5 is uh, 3 units remaining okay and we also know that the car over to the bus and arrived at town 45 minutes earlier than the bus Okay, 45 minutes earlier than bus means that the bus needs another the bus needs another 45 minutes okay to cover the rest of the distance right okay so this is uh, what it means right the bus requires an another 45 minutes to cover the remaining three units okay and so to do that we need to find what is the length of these three units okay because once you have the length of this uh these three units we can simply take the distance for this one divide by the bus time and we will get the and we will get the speed of the bus okay and so we know that eight units stand for 116 okay eight units stand for 116 km and to find three units you simply take 116 divided by 8 times 3 Okay, 116 divided by 8 times 3. And the 3 units will represent 43.5 km, right? You just punch in your calculator. Okay, that means the distance from here to here is 43 and a half km. Okay, and uh, we know that to travel this 43 and a half km, the bus need another 45 minutes. Okay, so we know that speed is usually represented in a kilometer per hour. Okay, so we need to convert this uh, 45 minutes to hour. Right, we cannot just simply take this DL like this, right? We, because if we do that, we will get a kilometer per minute. Okay, that's not what we want. Okay, so we need to convert 45 minutes to hour, right? And so to do that, you simply take 45 DL by 60 because one hour is 60 minutes. And you will get three quarter hour. Okay, and so to get the bus speed, you take the distance for the three point five divided by the time three over four. Okay, and the bus speed will be fifty eight kilometer per hour. Okay, this is the speed of the bus okay so but that's not what we want right we want the speed of the car okay not the bus okay so to find the speed of the car we need to take the distance divide by the time for the car to travel from a to b okay so to do that we can take the time for the bus then we we are uh, minus of 45 minutes okay because the car took 45 minutes shorter than the bus right so we can take the time for the bus minus away 45 minutes okay so to find the time for the bus time for the bus you take the total distance 116 
divide by 58 okay and the bus will take uh, two hours okay 116 divided by 58 is uh, two hours okay that means the bus take two hours to travel from A to B okay and so the time for the car all right you will take two hours minus away 45 minutes okay so it's two minus Okay, 45 minutes is 3 quarter, right? So minus 3 quarter. Okay, you will get uh, 1 and 1 quarter hour. Okay, this is the time for the car, right? To travel from A to B. And so finally, to find the car speed, you simply take the total distance, which is 116, divide by the total time for the car. Okay, so you take 116 divide by uh, 1 and 1 quarter. Okay, so when you punch your calculator, you will get 92.8 kilometer per hour. And this is the speed of the car.